but um, I know you've you've read through the memo, Father, and some of the uh, some of the happenings since that memo came out was leaked. What is your reaction to that, Father? Being well, I'm sorry it has come to this, but I'm glad it has come out that it, it has come to this. I mean, we we could have expected uh, that the FBI was uh, scrutinizing traditional Catholics. We see conservative Catholics, at least, who have been uh, seized, you know, protesting abortion, um, and who are guilty of no crime whatsoever, but were, uh, their, their homes were invaded, and they were taken away in cuffs in front of their children, their wives. Um, they were charged with crimes, felonies, right, that could have sent them to jail for, for a dozen years or so. and. Uh, and uh, finally, it was most recently, we found one, a man was acquitted of all charges, found to be completely innocent of any of these char accusations and charges. But the fact that they were conservative Catholics, I think, set them up with the FBI. Um, traditional Catholics have to be against the entire woke program. And, um, and the FBI knows that. And uh, the Department of Justice knows that. And uh, uh, the White House knows that. Right? They, all, they all know that. So, uh, of course, that's going to set us up because... I mean, if, if a, a member of Antifa, uh, funded by George Soros, uh, actually throws a, a brick through a window or a firebomb into a building, um, that is a legitimate expression of uh, political, uh, of social protest, right? And um, that, that is not considered to be a major issue. If uh, an abortion clinic were to be attacked, that would be major news right. and that would be a horrible crime. If a pro-life center is attacked, it's treated as though it was something trivial at, at most, right? Um, so they make the mountains out of the one and the molehills out of the other. Uh, and so we, we see this bias. You know, justice, justice in America has been like institutionalized injustice right now. And um, because we're not with the program, we're not with the leftist program. And uh, that, that makes us targets. So... Um, we, we would have to expect, how could it be otherwise, that uh, a, a weaponized FBI would uh, uh, not recognize us as the adversary. And as a matter of fact, when I say not just an adversary, I mean as the adversary, because it is the true faith, it is the true church that speaks here. And uh, the history shows that uh, that is the one faith and the one church that will not yield, not to a Henry VIII or any other despot, to, to Napoleon, Napoleon or anyone else, or to a Stalin, or, or to a Mao. Uh, so um, they have reason to, uh, to be concerned about us. If they're going to weaponize themselves and um, come after the opponents of the leftist program, if that's what they're all about, then yes, they'd have to see that we are adversaries, if that's what they choose to do. And uh, that's evidently what they're choosing to do now, unfortunately. It's amazing to see how much blowback that memo, the, the revelation of that memo received. In a sense, it's, it's rather encouraging that there were so many voices raised by, you know, not only traditional Catholics, but even more so by some of the New Order, conservative New Order Catholics, and many non-Catholics came out and expressed their outrage that this would happen. As a